What's up, everybody? This is Zoya, the Russian Korean. And as you may know, or for those of you who don't know, I also, in addition to the gaming content that I make, I like to make just like random other videos, especially vlogs where I just talk about like random things that come to my mind. And the topic that I want to talk about today is actually something that I've been thinking about for a while. And it's something that keeps coming up in different conversations between like me and my friends or my family or especially, you know, the Christian circle that I'm in. I made a video about my background a little bit uh, before. So if you haven't seen it, you can definitely check it out. But for those of you who don't know, I am a Christian, a Protestant evangelical Christian to be more uh, precise, I guess, to be more specific. I've been a Christian for a long time. I'd say almost all my life. I've been actively serving in the church for a very long time. And I also have a master's degree, a master of arts in Judeo-Christian religion. So as you can tell, I, I have a history. I have a history. But in addition to all that, I also play games and I make gaming content. And for some reason, actually there are kind of lots of reasons, <laughs> but uh, Christians, uh, I'd say like not a majority but a lot of christians when they see another christian play games or make gaming content or like make games a big part of their life there is kind of a concern or a question that arises right and i gotta be frank here it's not just in the christian circles i think it's in the society in general the concept of gaming is often associated with um like wasting time addiction violence rage you know those kinds of concepts that while definitely a concern for the mainstream society when it comes to christianity they become kind of amplified and there are lots of actually things to talk about when it comes to this topic and that's why i've been kind of thinking about for a long time but this video i don't want to make it too long i just want to make like a short video about why why i do why i do what i do there are basically three reasons why i do it and i just wanted to share them with you in this video so the question is why play games or make gaming content when you're a christian when you probably could be doing something else and i understand that yeah i could probably be doing something else but i personally don't believe that it's very productive to just like keep thinking about things that i could be doing that i'm not actually doing so why not just talk about the things that i am doing and uh i guess why so first things first i play games because it's fun some people play games because they're frustrated with life and honestly if you don't enjoy the game and you play it and then you just get even more frustrated then i would say just don't play it. like stop playing <laughs> like don't do it but for me i'm not playing because i'm frustrated or anything like i'm playing because i actually find the games that i play i find them fun and challenging and i personally like challenge i know some people don't really like the competitive part of uh some of the games and it's perfectly fine you don't have to necessarily be competitive in order to play them but for me i find the competitive side enjoyable as well if i don't find a game fun i'm just not gonna play it like even if i don't know people people are making tons of content about it even if like so many other people are enjoying it if i try it and i don't like it then i'm just not gonna play it so the games that i do play i find them both entertaining for me and also i think of the content that i make based on those games as entertainment for others and for me you know that process of finding entertainment in something and also sharing kind of the fun of that entertainment with others, I, I find that process really rewarding for me. So that's the first reason. The first reason really had nothing much to do with being Christian. It, it was just like a general reason why I even do games in the first place. But the second reason is, uh, I guess, from a different angle. So actually many Christian or Christian you know, people, they kind of approach different spheres, I guess, of entertainment, especially in kind of a black and white way. So there's no there's no in between. It's it's like a bad or good or do don't do. And gaming usually falls in the don't do category because it's kind of like unholy. Because like I mentioned earlier, there are lots of games with plenty of, you know, violent and sexual and just like a lot of inappropriate tendencies and so based on that people make a general conclusion that you shouldn't be playing games in the first place or that there are these like holy games and unholy games <laughs> you know and a lot of those conclusions are made without even really knowing what the game is about or what what the game entails now, i personally think that you really should make discernment as to what games you play or don't play whether you're christian or not because there are definitely games out there that i think don't contribute to anything at all and games that 
actually can negatively impact your psyche. So if you've played a game and it does that to you, then my advice would be just don't play it. Or if you see a game and you feel like it's it's not going to be good for you, then just don't play it. That's kind of what I do. I look at the game, I look at the description, I maybe watch a trailer, maybe like look at some gameplay and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to play this game for this and that reason. And like, it's perfectly fine. But to tackle the issue of whether gaming is holy or unholy, here's how I approach it. I don't think of a game as a means to an end. A game, first and foremost, is a form of entertainment. And so it's not unchristian or it's not unholy for a person to enjoy entertainment. Now, also, the Bible teaches that creation, unfortunately, is fallen, which means not every form of entertainment is going to be good and holy. And it is now up to us to make the discernment whether something is something is good, not good, or and if it's not good, then why? And whether it's redeemable or not. And that's kind of how I approach gaming. I can make a totally separate video, and I probably will make a separate video about like why I play League of Legends specifically. But, like, even League of Legends, take League of Legends, there are so many things in there that, like, to somebody who completely doesn't know anything about the game, doesn't know, doesn't know, like, anything at all, but just sees, I don't know, like, a trailer or something, they see all this, like, all these demons and magic and whatnot, and they'll be like, oh, no, 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 like, Christians should never play this game. But the way I approach it is I look at it, like, okay, I know what the game is about, and what I see is that the game is mechanically and competitively based, like, that's that's pretty much the majority of it. And then, you know, the rest of it, we can deal with it, we can talk about it. I don't think it's right to just dismiss the whole thing just because of, like, those minor things in there that don't actually, like, affect the gameplay that much or mean that much within the game. Because even, let's say, the elements of magic within the game, what it all comes down to, boils down to, is how does your character interact with the surroundings and with other characters within the game. Like, that's literally it. And so for me, that willingness to understand and to learn and also to like be open to discussion i think it's pretty important and i don't necessarily think that it's good for me to just dismiss something just because of like one thing that i think is like non-christian or unholy so yeah as a christian of course you can play games like it's it's not an issue you can play games but you need to have discernment in terms of what games you play and then when you do decide to play a game it's like you, you need to also approach things with a grain of salt and like as generic as it sounds you need to play them like a christian too so for example like me uh, when i stream when i play and by the way if you are not uh, subscribed to this channel if you don't follow me on twitch please do i have all the links in the description but when i play when i stream uh, if you if you have watched me like even once or twice or maybe regularly you probably will notice that i don't curse i don't flame other people in the game i don't tilt off the face of the earth if i make a mistake i admit it and if i do need to stop i just stop i basically just try to make a conscious effort to i guess live what i preach and not do things the way that you know many other streamers popular streamers or popular creators do necessarily because i just don't believe that that's how you should do it and so i just choose not to do it because the game is only so much about the game right because for me yes it, it is about the game but there's also this other aspect of it which is the people that play the game which actually leads to the third reason why i play games is because through games i'm able to meet a lot of people that I think just otherwise I wouldn't be able to meet. I played games as a kid, but then after that, like when I was in college and stuff like that, like when I was busy with work and studies, I didn't play anything. And at that time, because I was also, you know, part of a church and I also went to a Christian school. So like, I felt like the circle of friends that I had and the circle of people, the people that I met, they're all wonderful people. But I kind of, it was, um, it was like this bubble kind of. But once I started making YouTube videos and once I started uh, making especially gaming content, I started meeting people and making new friends that are kind of outside of that bubble. And to me, that's actually one of the most fascinating parts because I get to meet people from all different walks of life. And of course, it's not like I'm just sharing my life with every single one, every single person that I meet. But I think... You know, the little conversations that happen here and there, whether it's on Discord or maybe over uh, Instagram or maybe just in the YouTube comments, even like those small things, the interactions that I have, I find them precious and I learn a lot of things. And I'm also able to share a lot of things, a lot of my thoughts and the way I live and my worldview, my faith. And to me, that's one of the most, if not the most rewarding part 
of actually doing gaming content and playing games in the first place. Like I'm able to connect with people very easily, especially in Korea, actually. Especially in Korea where uh, League of Legends is just so popular, almost everyone plays it, like almost everybody knows about it. And so like it's an easy conversation starter and also an easy way to like fellowship with one another. You know what I mean? Like you can just play together. It's a really simple way to connect with people. And I, I, I think it's great. So yeah, guys, if you have like any questions about I don't know, Christianity or the Bible or something like that. You can always ask me either in the comments or in Discord, whatever, okay? I, I'll try to answer as much as I can. I'm definitely not like the know-it-all, you know what I mean? If I don't know the answer, I'll just be honest with you, I won't know, but I definitely can try to answer and also maybe reference, reference other sources where you can find more useful information. And also, you know, the people that play games, like I said, they come from all different walks of life and a lot of times they find a refuge i think in gaming in in the way that like yes there are stresses of life or you know work or studies but the game helps you relax or maybe enjoy time with your friends or maybe relieve stress and you know those are actually all legitimate reasons i would say healthy reasons to play games which also means i think that it's a good platform for christians to be not to ignore but actually to be involved in to be present and to to be a good example that's my personal take on it so yeah to summarize in my opinion playing games is fun playing games is not unchristian Christian and also playing games is a good way to connect with people who are not Christian or have different worldviews from you and also to be able to share your worldview with others. So yeah, these are just uh, some thoughts that I wanted to share today. What about you guys? What do you think about this topic? If you th if you have any thoughts about this topic at all or maybe you came up with something or thought of something while you were watching the video, if you did, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. This was Zoya, the Russian Korean. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.